open Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project. For this app, we'll use a basic activity template. I'm going to change this text view to display the number zero and change it to have the ID count. Now I'm going to go to the Java file. In the main activity Java file, I add code that creates an integer count and an increase count method, which increases the count by one and calls the method display count. Display count finds the count XML text view that we made and sets the value of the count integer as the text of that text view. We want to call increase count every time the floating action button is pressed, so we go up to the floating action button set on click listener and override on click. Now we run the app. You can connect a physical Android device to test the app, or you can create a new virtual device. Now let's test it out. Oops. If we want to change the color or the icon of the app, that can be done in the XML files. First, under the res file or resource, right click on drawable and create a new vector asset. Our new icon is saved in the drawable folder. The XML for the floating action button is an activity name. We go to the source of the drawable for the icon and we'll change it to the icon that we just picked. To change the color of the plus one, you can edit the XML. To change the color of the floating action button, go into the colors XML file in the values folder. The floating action button is the same color as the color accent, so you can change it there. You can see a preview of the color on the side. Then run your app again to make sure it still works. Good job! You made an Android app!